everybody! How are you? Well, my name is Charlie, and this, this here, is my house. And this, here is my huge window, and this is my great garden! Hello, Hello. guys! Hi! My name is Tina, Tina Tinger. Oh, nice to meet you! Have you seen my house? My beautiful house, a kind of red with these yellow cartoons and a kitty. Oh. Gina, I was talking to them. Gina, I was talking to them. Hmm. Bad bean head. Oh. Hmm. oh. I have a horrible neighbor, a neighbor who lives next door. I have a horrible neighbor, she said, boy, you must have whore. Hmm, I have a horrible neighbor, a neighbor who lives next door. I have a horrible neighbor, she said, boy, you must have whore. He's always drawing, she's always dancing. Look at his funny cap, look at her crazy hair. He can dance, she can draw, I can draw, I can dance.
This girl is always interrupting me all the time. Charlie, Charlie. Hmm. I don't like her. I don't like her at all. But do you want to see my picture? Yes? Would you like to see my picture? Well, okay. It's a picture of Gina. Look. I draw Gina with her curly ginger hair, her big, big eyes, a big smile, and her t-shirt. But I need to cover this, the trousers, the boots. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Gina. What was that? Nothing. What were you doing? Nothing. Is it something? Come on. No, it it's nothing. Me. I want to see that. Nope. What's that, Charlie? Nothing. What was that? Charlie, can I see a picture? No, it's not oh, a picture. Oh, come on. It's no, not even no, a picture. No, Gina, Let Gina, me see. Gina. Ugh. Ugh, Charlie, that's for chewing on. It's been in your mouth. Yeah. Yes. Please, Charlie. I'm just asking you for showing me the picture. I don't want to see a picture. Come on, no, Charlie. No, you can't. Come on. No, I want to see that. You can't. I can't remember. Come on, show me your, no, no, show me your no, picture. No, no, no.
Emily, did you see what he have done to me? He has put chewing gum on my hair. I will never forgive him for what he did. Never. Uh, can you take Basil for a walk in the garden? Yes, Mommy. Sure again. It's time to walk Basil. Basil is my dog. Do you want to meet my dog? Basil! Come here, Basil! Doing. No, I'm 
Nothing. Hmm. Just I was in my garden. But what? 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 Is that my school bag? No, no, it's not. Right? It's not your school bag, Charlie. Is that my school bag, Gina? Okay, okay, Charlie. Yes, it it is your school bag. Hmm. What are you doing with my school bag? Uh. Just... Are you doing my homework? Yes, I'm doing your homework. You're not! I am. Liar. Look, look, I've been, I've, I've been doing your homework. Huh. <sighs> what is this, Gina? What? Is this brown all over my homework? What is it? <gasps> uh... Is it chocolate? Um, no, it's not chocolate. Mm, is it Nutella? Uh, no, I'm afraid it's not Nutella either. So what is it? Do you know? What is it? Can somebody tell me what it is? Mm. Ugh, what's that horrible smell? <laughs> huh? Gina! Gina! Tell me why she was running away from me with my school bag. Okay, Charlie. I, and I, what was that horrible smell? I can't explain. Okay. The, this is your homework. Okay. As you can see, I did it before. Well, before this happened. Is this dog poop? Did you put dog poo in my homework? Uh, okay, yes, Charlie, I did it, but I mean, it was not my intention. I'm so sorry because I know it was a terrible idea, but I know it now, and I'm really sorry. You must wash up my school by Gina right now. Okay, yeah, uh, Charlie, I, I promise. Then I will wash your school bag. You promise? And I'll do your homework. I do promise. Yes. Are, are you angry? I am angry. Get away from me, Gina. Okay. I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Charlotte. This girl is incredible. I even drew a picture of her. Look! Look! Oh my god. Look! And what did she do? She put dog poo in my school bag. It's clear she hates me. Well, you know what, Gina? I hate you too.
like me. Look, this curly ginger hair and this stripy jumper. I think it's me. Did Charlie draw it? Do you think so? Oh, look. And there are so many hearts all around it. One, two, three, four hearts. But why are there hearts in my picture? <gasps> oh, wait. Do you think that Charlie loves me? Like very deep inside, but do you think he, he just love me? <gasps> oh, <laughs> Right, but putting the 
dog food in your school bag? That was much worse. It was, definitely. Well, the thing is, the... Do you think... I'm sorry, and... Me too. Do you think we can... Be... Friends? Again? Yes. Yeah, sure. Let's be friends we again. Alright! Let's, let's play some music. Okay. Yeah. Since we are friends again, mm -hmm. what about doing something together? I don't know, like a, a drawing. A drawing? Yeah, a drawing. You love drawing. I like drawing. So? But I'm not sure about drawing now. Okay, look, listen, we can just draw Gina. Danger. No, <laughs> I'm not going to draw Gina again. Okay, why not? Because I did it before, remember? Oh, yes, you're right. What we can do is draw Charlie. Yeah. Um, again? Yes? Excuse me, I did a picture of you. True. So what can we do? Mm. I don't <gasps> know. I know, I've got an idea. What about drawing our best friend? Basil the dog! Basil? Yeah! That's a great idea! Mm -hmm. Or, even better than a drawing, what about Making a craft! Ta-da! It's Basil! Yeah! Nice! I think it's cute! It's so Do you think cool. he's gonna love it? Yeah, of course, it will! Mm, I think he's gonna love it! Okay, what about you? Would you like to make this craft all with us? Yes? yes? Okay, Charlie, you ready? Yeah, I am! Let's do it! Let's do it! Woo! Hi, dog lovers! Are you ready to make your craft? We are ready! Let's make sure everything is set. Let's go over the materials we will need. First, and most importantly, we'll need several toilet paper rolls. Three of them at least, so we'll use them as cardboard. Haven't got any around? Then, you may want to use this kitchen paper roll instead, so if you cut it in halves, you will get two smaller paper rolls. Next, we'll need some tempera paint of many colors and paint brushes, so we can paint over our dog's body. Then, liquid glue or silicone will come in handy when it comes to the moment of sticking the different parts of our dog all together. Also, a permanent marker to outline our dog's head, feet and tail. Scissors to cut the cardboard off. And, in case you like, some different colorful markers for the little details. Lastly, we'll need a wooden stick just like this, in which we could stick our message. So, we will also need a small piece of paper. Okay, so if you're ready and everything's set, let's do it! We will start by covering our work table with a piece of cloth, kitchen paper, or newspapers. You won't like to make a mess at the beginning, will you? Once you have made sure that the table is protected, it's time for fun! We start painting one of the paper rolls. 
I chose white because my dog is going to be a Dalmatian. So, take one of the paint brushes and let's spread the paint all over it. Carefully. That's it. Moving the brush along the row from edge to edge. Smooth. <laughs> Perfect. Remember, you can use any color. Brown, gray, black, even if it's a bit crazy, like pink or green. It's your dog and it has to be a display you like the most. Great. Uh oh, now that it's almost done, it's so difficult not to put the fingers in the middle of the paint. So try to put the roll around your finger and not to touch it. Also, remember not to put too much paint, but just enough to cover it. We need it to dry fast. Well, we did it! Good job, guys! Now it's time to wait for it to get dry. Okay, what's next? Take another paper roll because it's time to draw your dog's face. <laughs> so, take the scissors and cut the roll just like this. All right, and what do we get? This piece of resistant cardboard. We will need to flood it first to be able to work on it. So, we put our hands on the cardboard and we make sure that it's flat enough. Okay, and the result must be something like this. Ready for our purpose test. Sometimes we will need to insist a bit more on that. But don't give up. You are doing great. Awesome! Now, time to use your imagination and your permanent marker. We are going to draw our dog's face. But how many eyes has the Dalmatian got? Oh yes! Two big and cute eyes, black eyes. Also, I would like my dog to have big and furry ears. A small mouth and a cute snout. Like that. In case of any difficult to do it directly with a permanent marker, you may want to use a pencil to do the lines and then just outline yourself with a permanent marker. Okay, do you remember my dolmata? Let's go and write the first of his eyes. Okay, you may decide to paint it blue or green or red. <laughs> it's up to you guys. Second eye and the tiny snout <laughs> and the mouth. Yay, we got it! Now, can you guys guess what's next? Uh huh, you're right. Just painting our dog's face. If you got a thinner brush, now it's the perfect time for using it. Just here, carefully. It's a hard task, so we gotta be concentrated. But also remember, we're just doing this to have fun. Okay, now the ears and the rest of its face. Good. Now we will add some more little details. Okay, I'm gonna take a thinner brush right now for these delicate parts. Nice. How are you doing, guys? Already loving your creations? <laughs> I'm quite sure you do. And while you're doing this, remember that the other paper roll is getting dry. Alright, we did it, we finished! 
So say bye bye to your dogs for a while, because now it's time to move on to the next step. So put the paper away and time to use the third paper block. Now, with the help of our scissors, we're gonna cut it off again. And as you did before, let's make it flat. Use your hands again and get prepared for the hardest part. Look, do you remember the previous paper roll? Make sure it's already dry because now we're going to use it as a guide. So take a pen or a pencil and trace a circle. Okay, so we'll locate it up right over the cardboard and just follow the guide carefully. There's no need to rush in, but do it slowly. Okay, fix it. Pull it tight. Try not to move yourself a lot. Okay, there we go, our circle. Now, let's add some funny dog spits. One and two. And what do you think? Should we add it a funny tail as well? Yeah, I love dogs with tails. Okay, awesome. Now, time to align it with our permanent marker. Just like this. Let me give you a tip on this. If you find it very hard to hold it firm, because it's a very small piece of cardboard, you can always use silo tape and stick it to the table so it wouldn't move. Nice! Now, here's what we're gonna use the paint brushes once again. I'm gonna go for a white, because you know, Dalmatian specs are normally white. So we we'll repeat the same procedure as before. Painting carefully and paying attention to the details and the edges. Okay, the first foot and then the second one. Don't throw in the towel. You're doing fantastic. And we are so close to finish the hardest parts of our project. By the way, have you already chosen a name for your dog? This could be a good moment. Okay, arms done. And did it! We made it! And it looks fantastic! Now it's time to use the scissors. So we cut this thing, which will act as a base for our dog's body. Again, be careful. Watch your fingers and follow the guides and the black lines. Yeah. Make it easier to yourselves. Wow, what's mess? So much copper out of place. No, no, no. We show Tanya up. This is gonna knock us. Okay, now we got the base. Let's just stick it to the dog's body. And how can we do it? Easy. Use silo tape. Okay. Now I need your whole attention here. Okay. Look, we're gonna take a short strip of silo tape and we're gonna stick it to the base like this. The other end will be a stick band to the dog's body. Yeah, that's right. And make sure that the feet are not upside down. <laughs> okay, so we repeat it again to make it more resistant. Almost. And ta-da! Look! <laughs> it's all right. You can add more cello tape if you see that it's not. Wow, it starts looking like a dog. Okay. Now, do you remember the dog's face? 
it's time to keep our dog's body a face. So take your permanent marker or add in these little details of the whiskers. Some dots over here, over here. Yes, perfect. And be ready to use the scissors once again. Kids, remember, if you find it difficult to use the scissors, you can ask for help to your family. Yes? I'm quite sure they will be very glad to help you with your creations. Okay. As I said before, try to do it slowly. There is no need to hurry. We've got plenty of time. Uh oh tricky parts, careful! Yes, we solved it! Okay, here we go! And... Done! Ah, it's just like I almost hear him barking already! <laughs> what a cute dog! I would love to see your crabs, guys! I hope you send us a picture later! Okay! What about now? Now it's time to stick this brand new head to its body. But wait, wait a little bit first, because we're going to use this wooden stick. And we will put it in the roll. So we will use, again, a little strip of tape or liquid glue, whatever you rather, to stick the stick to the inner parts of the row. Let's proceed. My advice, put the strip of tape neither at the top nor at the bottom of the stick, but in the middle, like this. And just stick it carefully. Wow, congrats, you did it. Now time for the dog's head. Look, half of the dog's head must be below the edge of the paper roll and the other half must be um, above it. That way, we wouldn't cover the message afterwards. So grab another piece of sewing tape and look at this trick. We're gonna fold in like this, like in a circle, to create a kind of sewing tape ring which we will stick at the back of our dog's head, here, okay, Ta -da 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 -da. okay, it's alive, <laughs> yes, but wait, I'm missing something, of course, what about the black spots, remember, my dog is a dormitory, so it must have black spots all over its body. So it's time to use the paintbrush once again and the colors. Or if you feel exhausted already, you may decide to use a permanent marker. Oh, what? What a disaster! Look at my finger, it's all black. Oh no. Look at my hands. They're all over in white. Luckily, I've got a baby wipe, so I can clean my hands and remove the paint. Okay, clean it. I scrub a little bit. And soon I will be ready and back on track. Yes! I almost run it off. Okay, what about the spots? Shall I paint them yellow? <laughs> no. Green? What? Green spots on a dormitory? Ah, blue? Okay, yes, I think black will be the best. And once again, you've got two options right here. You can use the tempera colors or a permanent marker. I'm gonna use the permanent marker. So, let's just start with a big spot. 
big black spots on my dog's body. Good, and I will continue with something smaller. Okay, another big spot. I think my mom is gonna love this puppy. Actually, I love him already. Okay, some more spots. Remember, you can decide which spot turn you like the most. Even if it's a bit crazy, I love crazy ideas. So it would be more original, more personal. Feel free. And use your own technique. Okay, don't forget, the feet and the tail also must have some spots. Hmm, it's so beautiful, but I still have the feeling that something is left. Okay, I'm finished. Awesome! What? Remember, you may add more silo tape if needed. Okay, but um, something's left still. <gasps> I know, what about a color? Yes, I'm gonna give my Domata a red color since it's my favorite color. So, take your paintbrush once again and let's give our animals a beautiful color so everybody can identify them as ours. And he won't get lost if he goes out. <laughs> okay, carefully. You can add as many details as you wish. Nice. And you know what? I'm not entirely satisfied. What about adding a bunch again? Yes. A golden bunch. <laughs> Bessie will love it. So, I take this golden marker and I draw and paint this bunch. Wow, Basil, you look just stunning. Okay, let's touch. And here we go, Basil! We almost finished with our dog, but as you probably remember, there is one step left so far. For the next step to be completed, we gotta say bye-bye to our dog for a while and focus on writing. Yes, writing! But what are we gonna write? We're gonna write a message, the message that our dog will carry. So, grab a permanent marker again, or a pen, and first of all, decide about the shape that your message is gonna have. On the piece of paper you got in front of you, you may decide to use the whole space to write a long message, or a little drawing, or you may decide to draw the shape of something first. For instance, I decided to make it on the shape of a bone. Dogs love bones. Okay. Hmm, think about the message you want to write on it. It couldn't be very long, but it's still meaningful. You may want to give it to your mom for the Mother's Day or to any of your sisters, brothers, or family members or maybe to your friends. Now, it's time for you to use your whole creative skills and your imagination. Use different colors, play with the shapes, do whatever you want to do. It's gonna be beautiful. I chose the golden marker to write the name of my dog so it matches with the color of his back. You remember? All right, now scissors back on your hands and let's cut it. Are you excited about the final result? I am. This is my favorite part, decorating and adding little details. 
because details are important. I simply can't wait to see your creations! Okay, don't lose your attention or your concentration while you are playing or cutting with the scissors. Okay, and we are done! And do you remember the trick? Oh, wait, first let's get rid of this. As I was saying, do you remember the trick of folding the sellotape strip in? So we're gonna do it again. Let's see, show me what you learned. Okay, sellotape ring ready. So we stick it at the top of the stick. And now we add the final message. And look at this, guys. We made it. It's finished. How oh, we did such a great job. Congratulations. So don't forget, if you feel like doing it, you can share your pictures and photos of your creations with us. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. I hope you learned a lot of things. And that you had real fun with us. So, see you next time and thanks for watching. Okay, guys, so that was all. We finished, Shelly. And finally, because I'm exhausted, Gina. Yeah, Ooh. me too. It was really hard work. But look at the result. It's so cute. It's so cool. Oh, I mom. love it. Yes, and what about you, guys? Did you have fun making your crafts? I hope you did, and now remember that it would be great if you sent us your crafts, okay? We would love it so much. Yeah, and remember, it's also a very nice opportunity to give it to someone you really love. For instance, Charlie, I think I'm going to give this to my mom on the Mother's Day. Nice, that's a great idea, Gina. Mm-hmm, and so I guess we got to say bye-bye already. Yeah, I hope you had fun. Stay so, safe. Bye-bye, guys. See you and soon. remember oh. to wash your hands, not oh. only oh. after the paintings, but yes, look at my hands. They're full of paint. Mine too. So just wash your hands just properly. Your hands. And have fun these days, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.